Gen Z and millennials are the engine of our economy. Everything that is created, built, served, and sold in this country is increasingly being created, built, served, and sold by millennials and Gen Z. They're the young parents, the students doing cutting edge research, the young entrepreneurs with startup ideas. Their success is Canada's success. In the future, sure, but also right now. But the economy isn't rewarding them the way it used to reward their parents and grandparents. Avant, si on travaillait fort, if on you worked hard, you could afford a nice home, a nice life. But today, the stability for the middle class seems out of reach. That's not fair. We believe government should step up and take action. So we put together a plan. And for the last few weeks, I've been getting out there and talking with Canadians about it. I know all of you have too. Talking about our plan for fairness for every generation. I went to Vancouver, where I talked with young people about how we're going to be making rent count towards paying a mortgage. I went to the GTA, where I talked to the kids from Generation Chosen about their mental health and about everything we're going to do to support them. In Montreal, I met researchers, um, the most innovative one in the country, to talk about AI and how it's going to contribute to improve the economy and the life of workers. I talked to the business community about how we're keeping Canada competitive during the global energy transition. And all through it, I made lots of announcements with Sean Fraser, including in Halifax, about uh, how we're launching the most ambitious and comprehensive housing plan this country has ever seen. <laughs> we will build more homes faster than we've seen in generations. This plan, this budget, is about making sure we build an economy that is fair for everyone. As well as investing in housing will require businesses to contribute to make life more affordable and will create good jobs for the economy of the future. We'll do it responsibly, including we'll ask those who've done very well in their lives to pay their fair share. Currently, a multimillionaire who lives off his investments can pay a tax rate that is lower on his revenue than a middle class worker. That is not fair. We don't think it's fair that a teacher or electrician pays taxes on 100% of their income, while a multimillionaire pays taxes only on 50% of the passive income they make on capital gains. So we're going to make them pay a little more. I want to be crystal clear, though. This tax will not apply to anyone's primary residence. I want to be very clear. This tax will not apply on the primary residence of anybody. 9.87% of Canadians will not pay a cent more tax. Those who will, those who will will be those who've benefited from an economy that seems tipped towards them and away from everyone else, particularly young people. So we're asking them to pay their fair share so that younger generations can have the same opportunities that Xers, Boomers and other generations had when they were starting out in their lives. The people that are driving our economy, the Millennials and Gen Z who make up the majority of our workforce already, deserve the same advantages. This is the challenge we need to meet and our plan will meet this moment. Yeah.